All right, welcome back with uh, Planet Walls uh, for XCOM Enemy Unknown. We have zero credits right now. Uh, we are about to go, I believe, to China. Um, beam weapons are almost done. Yeah, and so China will reward us with... What did I decide? We weren't going to go to Egypt because I can shoot a satellite up there. Yeah, so that'll be the plan. Um... But anyway, yeah, so we'll go to we'll go to China. They're going to give us 200 mystery dollars. What do you think this currency is? So it's like 2015 in the time of this game. So it's probably bitcoins. Because it doesn't make sense why we'd get like 200 American dollars. Uh, we already decided this was going to be our crack team, right? Uh, I've decided to make some changes. Only to Becky. Uh, you're going to change your name. I like Double Down quite a bit. But I think, just to demonstrate the nepotism going on here, your nickname is just going to be Wife. Alright, there we go. Um, Rookie Garcia, should I change you already? No. I, I like the tradition of naming people only after they've been a little successful. So, yeah, we better bring this Joker along. Um, yeah, let's do this. Stop these alien abductions, maybe uh, capture some more aliens. Um, I'm expecting thin men, sectoids, assholes. For the next operation. And we want Mel's too. Picking up transmissions indicating alien movement in one of their major city centers. We should get down there and secure the area ASAP. Look at that sweet hair on Bladed Edge to the right. It's a good look for you, Eche Homo. All right. Cool. Hoojax was the first off the ship. This is uh, team has the oh, this fucking level. I South hate this one. Sky. Strike one is clear to engage. Okay. So the question here is how far we want to push up and how quickly. I want to move... We don't have a sniper right now because our sniper is wounded. Uh, Victor Garcia is our rookie, so I don't really care what happens to him. That's apparently full cover. Uh... This bus is a little spooky over here, but it provides full cover, um, I, I, at least I imagine. So we're going to move our rook behind this trash can. What did he see? Some floaters. We already captured one, so they're not super urgent to capture. Um, all right. You could throw your one grenade and just myrtleize this one. Uh, what, what's your shot? You can't even shoot the other one because he's behind that statue of a lion. That looks like something that's in Alexander Brennenberg's basement. Um, that's okay, I guess. Hujax, in theory, we could need you to fire a rocket that is the greatest rocket of all time and maybe blows up both these floaters. Eh, or we might not give a shit about that. We have four rockets on this mission. You have a 75% chance. And I gave you bullet swarm, so you have two shots, too. What do you have? You have holo targeting? Tell you what I'm gonna do. I'm gonna fire a shot at this Joker. You fucking missed a 75, huh? I missed the target. Yeah, you did. You got a 79? Okay. I What I don't want to do is set off more asshole aliens. Uh, I think Bladed Edge is safe to come up here behind this full cover. Good. We didn't see any more. 84... I like those odds. Good. Good job, Eche Homo. Okay. So, this guy, we're probably going to want to push you back behind cover. That's okay. Um, yeah, go ahead, uh, rookie, and take a shot on this guy. I'd rather you get the kill if you can. You got three. I wish you'd done better, but I can't really complain. Um... Where should I move Hoojax to? Hoojax, I feel reasonably safe with you here. Famous last words. Um, you got a 50. That's not ideal. And then Becky, wife, uh, what do we want to do with you? You could fire a pistol and kill that guy. Um, half cover, I believe, is going to be fine. Um, take a shot with this thing. See if you can finish that guy off. We'll leave Hoojax back on Overwatch. You missed, Becky. I'll get him next time. No, you won't, because hopefully he'll be dead before then. 
Uh, do we need to put anybody on Overwatch? I feel comfortable with my guy's position, so just take a shot, Hujax. See if you can finish this guy. Okay, so I should have done that first to increase Becky's odds. Damn it. Yeah, I know. That's how I feel too, Hujax. I made a mistake. So now the alien gets to go, and he has free reign. What are you going to do? Ah, oh, fuck you! They're always running away. Great. So what, did he get his buddies? We see both the meld canisters, though. I would really love those. Um, but I'm a little bit hesitant to divide up my forces. Alright, so... Here's the question. Can you fire a rocket that avoids the meld canister, but kills those aliens? It doesn't look like it. <laughs> uh, looks like we can definitely hit the meld canister. Maybe I can blow up the car, but I think then the car will blow up the meld canister. I don't give a shit. Let's just blow up this car. Is, is that car going to blow up? Maybe the car isn't even going to blow up. All right, let's change the perspective here and see what exactly is going to blow up if I do this. Uh, I don't see how that van would not blow up here. I, I don't see it. Just fucking kill this meld. Am I... Well, maybe not. Should I... I feel like it's greedy to try and get the meld. When those aliens are right there. Yeah. Hujax, you try to blow up that vehicle. And hopefully those aliens right behind it. Yep. I'm willing to blow up that meld. Rockets away. Preferable if we attempted to retrieve those canisters rather than destroying them. I get it, Dr. Vala. There are people's lives in question here. Uh, Alright, so... I would like to see how long it's on this meld. Uh, so, Bladed Edge, I'm gonna push you up. I don't want to see any more aliens. I don't want them to see me. So, I'm gonna keep you behind this thing. Okay, three more turns. That's great. Uh, cool. I think those Thin Men are dead, by the way. I, sh I should have uh, prefaced that I, I did think that I was able suitably to kill them. Uh, we don't want to put you there, because we don't want you to see around that vehicle, really. Um, or rather, we don't want the aliens to see around it. Um, just in case, I'm a little nervous about Becky getting spotted uh, by those Thin Men and shot. Uh, Bladed Edge, I'm sorry, if Hujax gets hit, that is also a problem. All right, so let's reload with you. Uh, I don't expect you'll... S well, there's that stupid-ass floater, but I don't expect we'll see him. He's down to one hit point. Uh, you're not going to see him from there. You could, so put on your pistol, Overwatch. Let's see if that floater comes back. Nah, he's still pantsing out somewhere. All right, uh, so we've got that thing uh, that we would like to get. We can't get it this turn, but we can set up to get it next turn. Uh, so, what I would do is probably move right here with Bladed Edge, or move onto the bus. The bus worries me. Uh, here, Rookie, you're going to be bait. You're going to look around this corner for us. You're not going to see any aliens, which is good. So then... Uh, yeah, I think we'll be okay getting that thing. Why don't you stick behind here? Okay, next turn we'll pick up the meld. That's good. I'm on the move. Then everybody else will just push forward a little bit. Um, I'd like to keep our heavies nearby in the fight, as it were. Uh, Hujax has a little less health than Zhang. Uh, I guess because Zhang is a hero. Fuck Zhang, man. This guy is not one of my commenters. Someone make a fucking account named... Shaoji Zhang. Uh, so that I have a justifiable reason to keep this asshole in my squad. Instead of dismissing him or intentionally getting him killed by something. Alright. I don't know what you just said, Victor. Explorando, like watching, exploring. I get it. Okay, yeah, we know who's over there. It's a fucking asshole floater. There's something here. 
Okay, it's two floaters. Nice job, Beck. See, Jean can handle this, and he's not even a real human. Alright. We are picking this shit up. Alright. Get the meld. Yeah. Good job, Blade. Alright. So, you weren't really in combat there. That's okay. Uh, who's this? Zhang? Let's have Hujax fire because I want to get the uh, aim benefit from holo targeting. Okay. So that guy's almost dead. That's fine. Becky, I could be extra bold and, like, put you right up here. So I will. Um... Actually, I probably should have set up to have her capture this guy. That would have, in retrospect, made a little more sense. That's okay. You basically were able to just execute him coldly, which, you know, it's part of the reason I love you. All right. Yeah, good job, Zhang. And, Rookie, we want you to level up so you get a real name. Uh... Yeah. Okay, keep doing that. I don't know what you just said. Oh my god, there's that one from earlier. And he took a shot at Becky but somehow missed? That's okay with me. Alright, so... What are your odds? 59? Hey, he's floating so high up in the air. Alright, Hujax. No, you can't see him? Alright, that's fine. Uh, move up a little bit. I guess. I guess this is a safe place, I hope. Okay, if you don't kill him, you'll increase Becky's odds of doing so. That's fine. I didn't expect you to hit that. Looked like a hard shot. Let's see if we can get the rookie to do this. Rookie, can you... Where could you go to make this happen? Should you stand inside this bus? Yes. You you can't see him, though. So you, you can't make that happen. Uh, okay, then, Rook. Uh, alright, so, I'm a little bit nervous about Becky being on top of this bus when there's a floater right there. So I'd like to be able to kill the floater with someone else. Let's see if Edgar can do it. Edgar, can you make this happen? 69? Those seem like good odds to me. And they were. Alright. We nailed it, Commander. That was it? Mission accomplished. Okay. That was a quickie. So this will be a uh, shorter episode. We'll macro a bit until the next fight. Um, Looks like they're really taking care of business down there. Yeah, nobody leveled up, though. So much as a scratch. All right, so we got 200 bucks, or 200 bitcoins, or 200 million dollars, whatever. I imagine that, like, every officer, or every soldier you have to train, it's like 15 mystery dollars here. Uh, I imagine each of those is like thousand or million maybe even because you have to get these from sp such a specialized group of whatever i don't know what i'm saying um okay so i would really love still to shoot up s yeah i get it there's panic in egypt yep and in the uk i'm okay with that um we have two satellites that are gonna be hopefully done soon right Satellite uplink. we have one available right now we've got no plane in europe um, okay, so, I think I should probably hold on to the satellite still for a little while. What kind of facilities do we need? We've got a satellite uplink going. Hmm. Uh, our power is still fine. I probably need another workshop at some point soon, which I guess we'll put over here when it comes time. Uh, as far as... Satellite uplinks, because I put these in awkward spots, we'll need to carve out room later to figure that out. That's probably okay. Um, what goes over here? Probably something special, like a plot piece later on. I don't really need laboratories. Fuck research. Um, we can get that stuff fast. I don't know if I want to build anything. Do I just want to build more satellites? Do I need to build any items? Uh, I feel okay right now. We've got one satellite sitting in the pocket and two on the way. Maybe we should build more of these. Um, 
Okay, let's build another satellite. That can't hurt. What about the officer training school? We've got stuff here that we that we want. Uh, yeah, we don't have a captain yet. This is also very helpful. Iron will is very important, uh, as I mentioned before. Uh, wet work, this is pretty valuable. I'll upgrade that if we right before the next mission, unless something else urgent comes up. Uh, wait a minute, satellites? Okay, we just need to build satellites before the next council report, definitely. Sooner is going to be better than later. All right, Michaela Peters is back on board, and we got beam weapons. That's great. So now we can build uh, laser pistols and rifles. Um, out of all these things, I actually think the most exciting thing to work on is the meld recombination. I want to start making crazy-ass abominations. Uh, that's what I want to do. So, once it hits before 20 days... Okay, what the fuck just happened? Contacting a new contact. Much larger than anything we've previously encountered. That's bad. I recommend we scramble our best equipped fighters if we're going to engage that ship. Yeah, best equipped fighters, huh? This is large? All right, hang on a second. So, engineering. What do I need to build here? Please don't shoot down my satellite. Let's build a defense matrix. This is kind of risky. I don't know if I'm going to actually be able to take down this UFO, even if I do these things. So, um, I also am going to want another satellite very soon, but we can try to deal with this UFO first. I would really love to be able to take this down, but I haven't quite prepared my aircraft to be able to take out a large UFO yet. We'll try it and see what happens, but I fully accept expect having to abort this mission. So I'll wait till it hits a couple times before using the uh, uh, aim modifier. Holy fuck. How about you get the fuck out? All right. So, I did not use the, uh, aim matrix, I used the defense. Uh, we have to let that UFO go. So we missed one, guys. That sucks. What, what, what is this? Bomb disposal mission. These are kind of hard. These are either easy or hard. There are a lot of thin men again. Um, I think it's a good idea to go in as though things could be horrible. Uh, but we're gonna do this. That you will handle this matter with discretion. Yeah, rookie Garcia. We want. Uh, I wish we could. We could drop another rook in there. Um, before I do this, I would kind of like. There'll be a lot of kills in this mission, so I would like to increase everybody's experience. Uh, let's go to the gray market and sell some crap. Thin man corpses. We're gonna have a ton of you anyway. So. Uh, yeah, we'll just do that. That's fine. Uh, all right, good. So, officer training school, wet work. Make this happen. Be happy. Let's go on this mission and level up Garcia. All right, we'll fly in and we'll start the mission when we're already there. So, let's launch this shit. We look forward to seeing your progress. Uh, I think I'm actually going to have... No, no, I'm not going to make Becky go away, but I'm going to not have her hold on to a, uh, an arc thrower. I'll have her hold on to a, a grenade. Like, I'm actually wondering if I should put a med kit on someone here. Yeah, let's do that. And then, no arc thrower. We're just going to murder these fucks. Uh, I'm okay with that. For now we get fewer light plasma rifles but i want to make sure we're safe on this mission and that we handle the bomb disposal appropriately all right i'm okay with the way this looks all right so we have to defuse a bomb in mexico uh the only other eventful thing that happened on this one is that we dealt with i guess a touching down I don't even remember what we did. Some abduction missions, reasonably successfully and quite easily, and then we also missed a UFO. We're going to be putting down it was like Mexico a giant barge. Alright. Alright, guys. Let's land, save it up, and get ready to play next time.
Come on. There you go. Good job, ladies and gentlemen. I could have actually brought Michaela. Council intel indicates. I might have rather done that. A plasma bomb of some kind in your vicinity. Yeah, we get a Time plasma bomb. Short. We need to locate and disarm that weapon before they're able to finish priming it. Yep. All right. The sensor readings indicate that device is some sort of priming mechanism. Okay, Doctor Shun. The aliens are transferring power from it directly to the bomb itself. Disabling this power node should give you more time to find and disarm the explosive. Thanks, Dr. Shun. Objective updated. Great. All right. Good. So, I will see you guys then uh, next time.